Well, we've been working with uh, CITES team at Custom, the UK border agency, the customs people at Heathrow for years and years. Um, and basically, whenever they make a confiscation, whether that's clams or corals or fish, um, they will often give us a ring and say, can we accommodate them? Um, and then they come to us and we take care of them from that point onwards. So uh, we got a ring uh, about a confiscation of hundreds of giant clams, although they didn't tell us initially that it was hundreds. They just said, do you want some clams? Um, and then it emerged that yes, two different species um, and over 800 animals uh, in, the, in the confiscation overall. They've come a very, very long way. They've been in transit from the Cook Islands, which is where they were originally from, it's where they were farmed. Um, so you can imagine that to come all the way from somewhere like the Cook Islands to Heathrow, that's probably a good couple of days in transit. So these animals would have been in the same water, getting quite cold. So they're obviously not very happy when they arrive. So we have to be very, very careful when we're unpacking them and acclimate them very gently. And acclimation means that very, very slowly we dribble some water from the tank that they're going to go into, into the bag that they've been shipped in, and just really slowly get them used to the water that we want to keep them in. Well, we've... I mean, we've got hundreds. This really is a very, very big confiscation. It's a, it's a useful thing to be able to let the customs team do their job and, and take confiscations when they need to. But the downside is we've now got absolutely hundreds of these guys. Um, and the, the, they, they really don't mind being wedged like this together, you know, being, being sort of um, grouped together like that. That's how they're farmed in the first place. But obviously... We want to get as many of them out onto exhibit as we can so that people who are visiting the zoo can see them. Um, and we also want to make them available to other aquariums that we know and trust that, you know, who are good at looking after this kind of animal and might have older clams that they can use to breed with these younger ones. With the aquarium trade, like pretty much anything, there are fashions and fads and things will be hugely popular for a couple of years and there'll be lots of confiscations of that and then they'll disappear because you know the people who are in the hobby have gone on to something else. It's really hard to say you know over the next year we're going to get called out three times by customs because it might be six times or it might be not at all you know we just always have to be ready.